John Vibes is here to entertain you. Imbeu. Nkululuku has gone completely rock as Bululu demands his child as a sacrifice. It is really so unfortunate that Bululu keeps wanting more and more sacrifices. Bululu appears to Zandile when she's sleeping at night and when Zandile actually hears a baby crying, she goes towards the baby's bed, opens it and sees a very big snake. That is Bululu wanting more sacrifices and this time around, it definitely wants Nkululeku's newborn baby as a sacrifice sacrifice and Nkululeku cannot even have this to occur. Shocking things are about to be revealed on today's episode so make sure you watch this video right up to the end but before that you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the post notification bell so you don't miss out on our subsequent videos, like this video and drop a comment after watching the entire video. Imbeu is definitely on fire. Thumbs up to the whole crew. You guys are most definitely the best. Whoever brought this snake idea deserves a medal most definitely. The moment I really think about the next episode, I really forget all my problems completely. You know what I'm talking about? And this is definitely the truth. I'm really not happy with Masinguane. Guys, he is actually awfully quiet and the money Sangoma is actually playing a dangerous game. It is so, so sad. One of the best male actors in Imbeu is most definitely Nkululeku. He really knows how to act and knows how to make us triggered. Nkululeku has totally lost his mind. Bululu's effect is dealing with him most definitely. Can this snake actually now focus on Nkululeku? Why is he just so disrespectful to the Bengals? The writers favor him just so much. The day Nkululeku actually make Toko, Tokozile to get married with Nkolosi, then it was actually the time he actually opened the black cloud over the Bengals. Now, he is just so uncontrollable was this time around whereby this actually big snake wants his child as a sacrifice it is really so unfortunate guys guess what kululuku behaves exactly like someone who is actually faced with some mutiny. i normally hear people say family over everything else but with this guy's case it is really so unfortunate one thing i've really learned about you know this black magic thing is that it will actually turn against you along the way in due time most definitely it will get back to you and that is what Zandile is actually facing now and I feel really so bad for Nkululeku because he's just been a victim of circumstances. Can the Bengu ancestors actually not shield Nkululu in this one time? I mean when all this actually comes out that Zandile was actually using mutiny on him, someone is actually going to pass away most definitely or the person is gonna go mad or blind. I mean bro in all of this I really feel so bad already for Nkululeku because he's just entangled in all of this thing he understands nothing about so guys in the comment section you all tell me what you feel about this episode and with that we've come to the end thanks for watching please do not leave without subscribing and hitting on to the post notification bell love you all jam vibes